All right, welcome back to the sports show. Uh, coming to you from Fluid, the shared space here. Thanks for having us, Sophie. It all came from a, a message from Reese a couple of weeks ago, so appreciate the hospitality and hopefully we can't be too much of a distraction to uh, the good folk working in here today. Um, good to be close to the home of Waka Rugby and of course the Senior Citizens Association just next door. Um, coming up on today's show, we're going to be joined by some netball ladies. Uh, we've got a Millie and a Rebecca uh, to talk to about a recent winning streak and a big game on Saturday. Um, Lauren's got some saucy footage of that match as well. So. Firstly, time to check out some chicks on roller skates, uh, some new <laughs> cheerlifts, and we try and figure out what happened to the Stampede in the first game of the finals series. Let's take it to the glass house. Leading Queenstown Sports News, the Arrowtown School Year 5 and 6 Ripper Rugby team are officially pretty much the best in the world. Uh, last week the team won the Otago Champs for the 8th year in a row. Uh, it was down in Dunedin, now they're going to shoot up to Wellington to uh, represent Otago in a, in a week or two. So kudos to teacher Paul Winders who's the um, recidivist uh, coach who's been getting those results. A um, bit of ball breaking hockey in Auckland on Saturday. Harps, um, your partner Cam Freer was in the thick of it. What happened? Yeah, uh, good question. Four, four two up, four all, and then lost in overtime. Bit pooey. But uh, there's a chance for the home fans to get involved this Friday and all going well this Saturday as the uh, series continues against the Admirals. But yeah, that loss on um, Saturday, 5 4. Bit of a ball breaker. Uh, there's a bit of country footy in Wanaka on Saturday. Otago Country lost to Southland Country 9 to 8. It was at the Upper Clutha Rugby Club. Um, came down to a last minute droppy. The Paul Tito of the Otago team, Josh Brown, ginger. was everywhere. Millie? Uh, must be the ginger luck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the roller derby girls uh, have been roller derbying in Dunedin. In fact, we're going to um, tuck into our roller derby correspondent, Jelly Fish. Hi, this Jellyfish. is Miss Jellyfish Stings, live from the Edgar Centre. We played our game, we lost our game, Thanks. but Thanks we did Jellyfish. so well. That's all we got time for. Adam Hill, the double Paralympic gold medal winner, uh, was seen lurking around up at the Remarkables on Saturday. In fact, there's an adaptive snow sports festival, pretty inspirational stuff, pretty cool stuff. Um, he's actually had a bit of a breather, but is ready to uh, get back into training and maybe set his sights on Beijing uh, in four years' time. Winter game starts this Friday. Uh, here are a couple of my picks that I feel like you go and check out. There's the North Face Frontier, it's of the Remarkables, a bunch of psychos hurling themselves down the Remarkables chutes. And then of course the Free Ski and Snowboard Big Air, the finals which are happening at Cadrona on Saturday the 8th of September. But check out the website, there's a bunch of cool shit happening there. Uh, and while we're on Cadrona, news out last week, there's gonna be a new cheerleader for next season, next wing, next winter. It's the Pringles cheer. Opening up, a, you know, the captain's pizzeria a bit. It's going to tap into the area just below that. These ladies celebrated a bloody good win on Saturday. Lauren was there. This is what went down. The finals for the Prem's Netball League is underway. Lone Star Ladies versus the Queenstown Electrics. Bumps. Intercepts. Whistles. Goal after goal and speed. These ladies are moving so fast my camera can barely keep up. Thank God for unforced errors. Half time and the Lone Star ladies are just up and the Electric Queens are having a serious team chat. Go time. Lady D stand down. My ball. Jesus, I sound like my mother on the sideline. <sighs> Goddamn whistle again. Slightly infuriating, isn't it? But it's the final one. A tight game, but the three-time winners, Lone Star Ladies, took it out yet again. Gutted because, yeah, we've been undefeated all season. Yeah, they just bought it and we didn't step up to the mark, really, so. Yeah, it was such a tough game, but we finally got this. So Why didn't anybody do the Kurt Baker challenge? I mean, Southern Steel really set the standard. Yeah, I mean the night's still young so who knows. <laughs> Send me the picture. Yeah. Awesome stuff Lauren, but did you guys end up doing the Kurt Baker challenge later that night? Oh, maybe. Not that I saw. <laughs> maybe Jules, I don't know, you might have to ask her. Yeah. <laughs> okay, 
Uh, congratulations on winning the Thanks. final on Saturday. Thanks. You've still got more netball though. So uh -huh. how, can you break it down? What, what was on Saturday and what's coming up? I said it was the Queenstown competition. And then next two weeks is Central Wide League. So at the Netball South Central Wide League, which we moved to this year. Uh, we meet them probably in two weeks time again in the Central League. So let's hope we can smoke them in that period. Uh -huh. And the team you beat on Saturday, the electric team or something? <laughs> He's done electric. Yep. The electric team, yep. yep. Are they your arch rivals? 100%. 100. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What? What? How so? What's all that about? Mm, lo love hate relationship. <laughs> love, hate. love hate, definitely. Do you gang up with one of the girls that used to be on the block? Sometimes I knock her, so. <laughs> uh, she's got a nickname we've in our team. Our team. I mean, we won't disclose <laughs> it, but we have nicknamed her. Yeah. Okay, well, you've got to tell us what the nickname is. We've got a Dory. Because she just floats around the court aimlessly, like oh. she doesn't know where she's going, like round in circles, like go in the air and then where am I going? Go there, where am I going? <laughs> I find it quite dramatic. Like, so she's definitely had some TV experience. Sorry. I mean, yeah, we don't know her off the court. And it's always she, so we, could be, court. we could be friends with her. Yeah. We're not, but we could be. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like, yeah. Lauren was saying, was, oh, she, she was there on Saturday, she thought there could have been more spice and a bit more bitchiness on the court. She thought it was quite savoury. Yeah, yeah. It was probably quite mellow. We're above that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's probably a bit more mellow than it has been. But yeah. Does it get pretty physical? In the central wide a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, a different game. Sorry, a different game, punch. yeah. A wee high school girl learned her lesson. And you punched her in the face. Well, nah, she <laughs> came like flying, elbowed me in the head, and then I kind of just yeah. threw the ball but in I her face and so went quite, quite quickly. Um, a lot of whistle blowing out there. Yeah. Like, that's been noted. Lauren mentioned she's sort we of had a lot breaths. of blowing. We had yeah. breaths from Invercargill this weekend. New breaths. New breaths. Big so, blowers. Yeah. Uh, just, yeah, big blowers. Yeah, like, could say like that. Whistle, like I like the whistle. <laughs> I like the sound of their own voice. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. It's weird when a foreign ref comes into town, mm. no, they just don't yeah. quite, they just don't quite it's, feel it. It was it. different, it was, it was very different, different to what we were used to. Uh -huh. Probably more what it's like in other big cities, not just like small town netball. Cowgirl netball, was it? Yeah, was it yeah, yeah, small town cowgirl yeah. netball, that's us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sometimes we have a bit much to say. We're probably not the most liked team, because we often will... Warning. Give our two cents on their calls. It's crazy yeah. how there's just naturally the most disliked team in every <laughs> competition, whether yeah. it's social six side cricket or rugby or yeah, netball, so, yeah. so, uh, national or local. Like like <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh right. Oh, is that? <laughs> Can we get the personality cup? Or no, we used to get the um, what was it called? The summit cup. The conduct cup. Conduct but cup. I think we might have lost it yeah. down last year because it hasn't reappeared. Yeah, so. Suspension. So we got sitting in the central wide comp. Currently sitting second yeah. behind pub. Behind. Or Queenstown Electric. Queenstown Electric. Tonight's semi final. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. At the event centre and then following Monday at the Wanaka Rec Centre. So okay. we travel around with Alex. Yeah, the new rec centre, which is cool. That's actually really cool there. Oh, cool. Okay, well, because we don't know what the result is, but because it's going to be out tomorrow night, mm. which I guess technically if you're watching this now is tonight, congrats on yesterday. Yeah. But also maybe hard hard luck for yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be congrats. 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 Fingers crossed. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Hey, well, um, loved yarning to you. Thanks so much for okay. being part of the broadcast. And um, and yeah, we're looking forward to seeing how things wrap up for that central wide tourney. Yes, thanks. Yes. Should we bust into you know some drills? Yeah, why not? <laughs> oh. I think most of it is pop up. Pivot, pivot. <laughs> <laughs>